So apologies for anybody that finds these sort of videos repetitive, but I need to do it sort of based on uh, all the media lies around Corona at the moment and what masks actually protect you. Because if you look at lots and lots of news channels, they'll get a doctor on and they'll say, will a mask help you? And they go, no, a mask won't help you. But then they often contradict themselves and say, yeah, but a surgeon needs a mask or a doctor needs a mask. So what I'm going to do in this video is try to give a very brief, quick, summed up explanation on how masks work in different functions and what they do. So generally the media will always just define a mask as basically a surgical mask you know the ones that basically loop over your ears and then it's got like a normally a blue colored sort of bit of cloth there and the idea is that if a doctor or a surgeon is operating on somebody treating somebody they're not going to cough or spit and get their germs onto somebody else uh, so that's quite important but obviously the thing is that yes they're not designed to protect you from a virus or bacteria they will offer a tiny bit of protection but they're not a filtered mask so they don't really offer you know much protection at all however if you are sick and you're wearing those, especially if you have to go out in public or something like that, I know you shouldn't be going out, you should be quarantined, but still, if you've got um, a surgical mask on and you have coronavirus, for example, you are going to lower the rate of transmission to other people, simply because there is a barrier between you and the outside world, um, which means, you know, a lot of your germs are actually going into that mask. So that's the reason doctors have them, just so they don't give patients anything. Um, but generally the media will say, no, uh, masks don't work, but then they're referring to surgical masks. Okay, so what masks do protect you? There's different clarifications of masks, but I want to show you kind of the lowest to the highest level of protection that most people would ever get. So things that are like dust masks, this is a Soviet U25, uh, U2K sorry, or Y2K uh, mask, you know, the ones famous from Chernobyl. These are probably like a minimum level of protection, but I'm just using this to represent a dust mask, so I don't even bother with dust masks in this house. But basically, you know, something like um, a dust mask, an N95 mask, offers some protection, but I'd really advise you to get anything better if you can, especially because dust masks are more inflated in price at the moment than proper military-style respirators. Then you get your half-face masks. I've shown like these in lots of videos, things like your 3M half masks, your um, Scott half masks, um, you know, MSA... Another one is the um, JSP48, I like the GVS Ellipse, those ones. You know, the ones that have a proper rubber seal, but they've got um, generally dual filtered designs. Again, if you're using those with a particulate type style filter, as in a P2 or a P1, sorry, P2, P3 or a P100 filter, P3 or P100 is always better because they are higher protection ratings, but P2 is what's being advised for a lot of medical personnel, so it may be good enough. Um, those obviously do offer a very good level of protection, however they don't cover your eyes. Um, so you'd have to wear goggles or whatever with them, same as if you're wearing something like this. Okay, so, best level of protection most people ever get is a military style or industrial respirator that's a full face respirator. can be panoramic, all that doesn't matter, because as long as it's got the physical barrier between you and your eyes, it doesn't matter. But seal against the whole face. Um, you know, very well designed, designed for military use against chemical, biological and nuclear weapons. Um, obviously, different levels of effectiveness against different things, but the point is biological. Um, and if you're either using a surplus military filter, don't go for something too old, but surplus NBC CBRN filters, they have the biological bit in, so they have got the particulate protection at the front, absolutely fine. Or if you get a P3, P100, 40mm filter for those, they offer very good protection again. So, when the media says masks don't work, but at the same time you see government agencies trying to get as many masks as possible, uh, yeah, look into what actually works, not what the man on the news says works.